Kabul is reeling from decades of warfare. Thousands of its children face a life with few prospects. But some are finding hope in an unlikely place. The Skatistan project is transforming the lives of hundreds of children likewise through a unique sporting and education initiative. Skatistan is Afghanistan's first skateboarding school and it was brought together by a bunch of expatriate aid workers living in Kabul uh, that had the common love of skateboarding and wanted to share something with the Afghan children here. Another of Skatistan's pupils is Mirza, a 17-year-old boy who has known nothing but a lifetime of war. <laughs> But Mirza's involvement with Skatistan has renewed his hope. <laughs> Skaterstan builds on the positive interactions that kids experience through skateboarding and we also build in education. We expose our students to a whole range of new ideas and uh, new subjects that are typically under-resourced in Afghan regular schooling. Kabul's a city that was designed for around two million people max and at the moment they estimate there's anywhere between 3.5 million to five million people living here. The roads aren't clean, there's no real waste disposal systems, water and sanitation is an issue. The majority are, are doing quite poorly still and it's a real struggle day to day. We're able to bring in working children that uh, have not been to school or have limited educational opportunities into a classroom with more educated children. We're able to bring children that typically wouldn't mix in Afghan neighbourhoods. So among our 240 students, we have Hazaras, Uzbeks, Pashtuns, Tajiks, all playing together, all building relationships and all having fun through skateboarding and through the classroom activities that we do. One of the most remarkable things about Skaterstan is its inclusion of women in sport something that only a few years ago would have been unthinkable. Fazila is actually, she's come from a very poor uh, family. They have a lot of problems in the families and she's going to the course and we're providing the money for her to go to the school. When I first met Fazila, she was incredibly shy. Skateboarding has given her an outlet to express herself through sporting achievement, but also to think ahead to her future. While the Skaterstown project has enjoyed support from the wider community, there has been opposition from some quarters, especially towards girls skateboarding. Mm -hmm. 
فامیل کدام رضایت دارن میگه برو اسکیت کو یک پدر میگه که اسکیت نکو وقتی که ما در پیش سرک یا در جای سیاپو بسکیت میکنیم مردم های دیگه فکر میکنن که به دختر اسکیتی من بسیار اسکیت خوش دارم علاقه من نشستم من Fazilla is not the only one who has found people questioning her right to skate. Miriam was a top pupil at Skater's Day until her brother forced her to stop as he didn't believe girls should skateboard. She used to be skating for two years now, I think, and since we got a skate park, she is not allowed to come skateboarding anymore because her brothers they don't want her to take part in any sports. And um, that's sadly still the attitude of quite a few families here. Old prejudices may not have completely disappeared, but the fact that girls are now involved in sport at all is a sign of shifting moods in Kabul. In a country with few opportunities for young people, Skaterstan represents a way for children to build their confidence and form new ways of seeing the world. We really believe that if these children are going to inherit the problems that they will, particularly in a country that has been through you know, 30 years of war, it's important to show them new qualities of what it takes to be a leader. But the psychic one is then I'll vote for him. The problems Afghanistan faces are enormous. However, in the classrooms of Skaterstan, children are growing up learning the skills they need to help rebuild their devastated country. While until there is peace, nothing can be certain, hope is being kept alive in this school with a difference.